The sound of this music is very much a team effort, brought together by 67 extremely talented individuals. Each has a story. But it is perhaps this French horn player, Molly Pate, who personifies a common aspect of all these musicians, the competitor. That's all I could do today. <laughs> the same drive to become a top musician yeah. is perhaps the same drive that led Molly Pate to become a triathlete. Four years ago, she set the goal to go to the world competition in Australia. Last year, she made it, coming in 12th. Her discipline, commitment, and focus have made her stronger and faster as an athlete. professional as a musician and a leader. She has practiced not hours or days, but months for a solo with the LPO, her fourth in 15 years and the toughest, Strauss's second horn concerto. And it's hard to play and it's hard to make sense of it, so this is a good challenge for me. Will you be nervous? Yes. <laughs> and I'm debating going barefoot because last time I wore heels and I was like shaking under my dress. She got her music degree in Texas and her master's at the New England Conservatory, then went for her first audition with the Syracuse Symphony. It didn't go well. Totally bombed that audition. It was horrible. I was like bawling my eyes out. I thought it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Later, she was playing in a music festival in Colorado when two LPO musicians heard her and told her to audition for an opening in New Orleans. This time she auditioned and won. It's just so hard to win audition because it's very, very competitive. The, the standard for musicians has gone way up and I think it's, I mean, we're so blessed in New Orleans to have the, the orchestra that we have. She was just 23 years old when she joined the LPO as principal horn player, leader of the brass section. Now, 15 years later, she has performed all over this country and Europe and has honed her leadership skills, serving once as president of the musician-run board and now working with the new young professionals group, Prelude. She is determined to bring classical music to the next generation. You think, you know, people just now just want to go home and play video games, but I think people are getting tired of that and they want to be involved culturally in the city. And I think the Louisiana Philharmonic provides a great outlet for that. <laughs> it's the 12 pound kettlebell. She balances her musical life with her athletic one, constantly setting goals. She learned the CrossFit system of training and now she and her business partner, Jeff German, have opened the first CrossFit gym in New Orleans, teaching the 50 skills of the fitness program. There you go, nice. I'll be 40 this year, and um, I, my goal is to go to the games and com compete in July for the, you know, the national championships. But before then, she must accomplish her musical goal, her 20-minute solo performance of Strauss's second horn concerto which this night, surrounded by her fellow musicians, she accomplishes. Strong, elegant, professional, she shines without her shoes, but with the confidence of a competitor.